Yaho, YouTube. I am Super Genki, and in today's thought of the day, we're going to talk about safe spaces. What do you think about safe spaces? What do you think they are? Growing up in America, I've had a really, really interesting exposure to the term safe space, and it's mainly viewed in a negative light. It's mainly been portrayed in a negative context, in people wanting protection from the outer world and their feelings, right? However, in the Imagination Station, the Twitch stream that I do every day, I'm constantly compelled to say that I'm a PC person. And I am a PC person. I use pronouns, and I don't curse, and I like to create a safe space. But there's a very specific safe space that I'm trying to create. On Twitch, I'm trying to create a place where people can feel like their thoughts of positivity belong. Where people feel like they can come, and they can be positive, and they can be heard, and they can have a voice. I think this is what I categorize as a safe space. I was talking to one of my viewers today, and I asked him, what do you think a safe space is? And that person said, I think a safe space is a place where you can be yourself. And I thought that was really interesting. Because, you know, how many places do you really have that you can actually be yourself and be confident about who you are? That's what I would categorize as safe spaces. A place where you can be yourself and be confident in what you think. Now, emotions aside, I think thoughts are a lot more provoking than we give them credit for. And I would never, I would never, what's it called? I would never, I shouldn't say what's it called. I would never advocate that you try to blunt the sword of thinking in attempts to protect your feelings. I think safe spaces should be used for thinking and not for feelings. Because when you protect yourself and your feelings, you really dull, yeah, you dull the blade of thinking. When you seek protecting your feelings over protecting your thinking, you dull the blade of thought altogether. I don't know how to word that properly. I just try to create that concept right now. But I think it's really interesting, and I would like to explore it a little more later. Yeah, when you have a safe space, because we, we definitely use this word every single stream. At the beginning of every stream, I say, welcome to the Imagination Station. I am Super Genki, and this is your daily, positive, imaginative, inspirational, creative, safe space. Right? And I talk about how I want to create this community for people that want to belong in positive thinking. Same thing here on YouTube. But Twitch is, Twitch is where it's at. I really enjoy Twitch a lot. Not saying that I don't enjoy YouTube a lot, but I've been burnt out enough to know that I have to put a lot more work into YouTube in order to become successful in it. But yeah, just let me know in the comments. What do you guys think a safe space is? I'm really curious about this because I'm trying to form an idea of what a safe space is and what it could be. That's the video for today, YouTube. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Likes help me out. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Really want to get to 100,000, not 100, 10,000 by the end of 2020. A little more realistic than 100,000. Leave a comment. I really want to know your opinion about safe spaces. But most importantly, share this video with your friends. We need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.